my first house um, was in Barrio Central in Tapachula. And uh, we had gigantic spiders. Uh, we had a gigantic spider infestation. Um, they were probably the size of like my hand, maybe a little bit bigger. I remember <laughs> waking up one morning and we turn on the light and like the walls move with like spiders as they like go up and they like put their legs sideways so that they can like fit in the corner. <sighs> They're the worst and they jump. They're big spiders and they jump from wall to wall. Um, one of the funniest experiences that my first companion, my trainer and I had was when, <laughs> when we were trying to kill one that was in our house and it was in our room and we we're like, we can't go to sleep with this thing in here. So we had to like get a broom and we were like running around chasing it, trying to like squish it. Um, another one, I remember we came home at, light, at night and the lights were off and I walk into the kitchen to wash my hands and I grabbed the bottle of soap and there was one on the bottle of soap. So I grabbed it and it like jumped onto the wall I mean, my companion freaked out. <laughs> we were like running around. We were smart after a while and we bought spider like poison and we would just spray it. But these things were resilient, I swear. We would spray it like for a minute straight and it would still be alive and it wouldn't die for like 10 minutes. So watch out for that. You have that pretty much everywhere. There's all sorts of spiders. Um, so hopefully you don't have a fear of spiders. <laughs> Um, another thing is, you know, you have all sorts of other things like snakes. We had a snake in my first apartment that lived in our apartment. It lived in one of the outlets, laid eggs in the outlet. That was a funny experience. Um, we also had mice and rats. Like the rats are huge. They pretty much don't live in your house. They live more by water. So like rivers and stuff, but they're gigantic, like almost R-O-U-S's status. Like, <laughs> They're so huge. I remember we found one next to the river by my, the first bishop, my first area's bishop's house. It was huge. It was like this big, like without the tail, like this big without the tail. And the tail was probably like that long. So it was gigantic. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to live with this. Um, we had iguanas um, trying to get into our, our apartment a couple times. We had... Um, Parrots, parakeets, they all live there. There's all sorts of birds, wildlife there. Um, all sorts of snakes. We just had the one encounter with snakes in my apartment. Pretty much everything else, we see snakes outside. There's monkeys, there's tigers, there's uh, mountain lions, there's all sorts of wildlife. I didn't have any encounters with anything big like that. Um, there's crocodiles in the rivers. That's pretty cool. So they pretty much don't let you baptize outside of baptismal fonts unless there's literally nothing else. Um, there are so many waterfalls, beautiful fixtures, you know, different types of things that are just really cool that the environment has created. So that's really cool to see. Um, it's just a really beautiful place, honestly. Everything's green for the most part, I mean, except for the part in Oaxaca. So, yeah. <laughs>